What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Aries. This resonates if you have Aries in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Sun, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter, Charge. Step into the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with us. Free general collective reading for sign of Aries. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type this to 305. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, to donate. I did hear one channel message as I was uh, meditating on your energy. I heard feel the energy is what I heard. Feel the energy. So you plug it in how it resonates Aries. I'm going down to weekly Oracle card readings now for all signs. Just let everybody know um, if you're interested. And as always, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, um, placement, and Jupiter as well. Um, so feel the energy. So feel the energy. Um, one of you guys, I think, gets intuitive downloads. Or you are dis, um, deciphering somebody's energy, energy space. Um, just saying, just saying. Feel the energy, my dear. Or you're meditating. You're doing something regarding energetic spaces. Hopefully, it's not energy manipulation on the dark side. Uh, like, you know, conjuring up. And when I said it in Scorpio's reading, I was misinformed. I just want to disclaimer this real quick. Inter Kali, the Kali spirit, yes, a lot of people use the energy of Kali and the Kali spirit for negative, for dark arts reasons. Absolutely, yes, they do. But you can use the energy of Kali for positive, too. So, um, I don't want to, when I talk about Kali, I don't want everybody to automatically think she's a negative deity, because she's not. It's all in how the person that conjures her up you, intends to use her. Uh, I just want to make that clear, okay? And that's the truth. So, um, if any, you know, if that's for anybody, just saying, just saying. But, um, yeah, I think you're meditating, or maybe you're money manifesting, or um, doing some kind of... Spell? I think you're doing spell work. Um, whoever you're doing. Uh, uh, not whoever you're doing, sorry. Whoever this is for. But it can be positive spell work or negative spell work. You know, there's positive energy and negative energy. And that's just the truth. Um, are you on the dark side? Are you on the light side? Or do you do a little happy mixture of both? And that's just the damn truth. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I do. I feel, I feel energy work for one of you guys. Feel the energy. So, what kind of energy are you conjuring up, uh, Aries? Just saying, just saying. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aries. Your messages, you have time, Aries. An Aries is about to severely get targeted, bullied, and gang salt soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You've never had these kind of problems in the past. An Aries is about to start getting shocked, bullied, and um, targeted, and gang stalked soon. I heard you never um, had uh, these problems in the past. So that could be the stepping into the uh, new experience of kind of bullying, targeting, harassing, and gang stalking. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me tell you, from experience, two years of gang stalking, me and my kids, it is not fun. Not at all, not at all, not at all. And that's the truth. Um, hopefully yours don't go on for two years. Um, it's like I felt that shit was never going to end. And that's just the truth. Like the never-ending freaking story. And that's the truth. Um, I am. I don't wish gang stalking, stalking, targeting, bullying, harassing upon anybody. But it sounds like one of you guys is about to go through that. I heard you never had those kind of problems before. So I think you are, um, I think you usually always get what you want. I think you're mega manifester, whoever this is for. Um, and I think you might conjure up 
black magic to do it. But it's about to backfire. Because black magic always backfires. I think this might be a form of the black magic about to backfire. In the form of some kind of targeting, bullying, gang stalking, and harassment. And I'm just being serious. I mean, I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic, intuition, and reasoning. And that I think that could be stepping into a new experience for one of you guys. And I do. I think you're... A heavy manipulator, a heavy mega manifester, and a heavy, I think you might be a heavy hitter for one of you guys. And I'm just being for real. But you plug it in, how it resonates. For some of you who are dealing with an air sign or a water sign, if you are, they can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, if you are Aries. Hummingbird. A Libra is about to get fired soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, it's a dirty cop. For one, it's in a they're working a healthcare healthcare sector. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for one of you Aries, I heard a Libra energy. It can be mass Scorpion Libra. They can have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in Hammond, Jupiter, charge. You plug in how it resonates. I heard for um one of these Libras. They're dirty cop. So masculine opinion, dirty cop. One, they are a um, healthcare worker. So, you know, that could be any facet, medical assistant, to RN, to CRN, P, to what have you, what have you. Respiratory therapist, occupational therapist, PT, what have you. But um, they're about to get fired. Um, I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. I feel it's, um, feel it's rightful termination and not wrongful termination. So I don't feel like EEOC energy. I feel like there's some... Super substantial evidence here to back up and substantiate the letting go, the termination, is what I feel. Maybe a drug, maybe this person pops positive on a drug test. Maybe there's some kind of video footage, footage evidence of sexual harassment or um, PDA or um, discrimination or something. I mean, I'm not sure. Heavy Libra and energy, though. They can have leaves in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So here's your air sign, your Libra. I feel for some, you could work with her or him. You could work with her or him. Um, either you're on the force or you will work at this medical um, a healthcare agency or site or facility or corporate conglomerate or what have you, what have you. Um, I feel for some you work with her or him. A nightclub is about to become very significant and a drag queen. A nightclub and a drag queen is about to become very significant. So you plug in how it resonates, some kind of nightclub energy and a drag queen. For some, it could be an air sign or a water sign, nightclub, um, drag, drag queen, I feel. For some, it could be a water sign or an um, air sign, drag queen at a nightclub, possibly, for some. Well... A baby daddy is about to steal a very, 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 very large amount of money out of an Aries purse. Very large amount. A baby daddy is about to steal a very, very, very large amount of money out of an Aries purse. A very large amount. I feel for some of you, baby daddy could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio um, is what I'm feeling. Um. Whales are protectors of the sea. I think for some, maybe he comes across like he's trying to protect you, like he's trying, trying to be around you. I heard baby daddy, so I don't think you're in a committed relationship. Um, 
and I'm just being for real. Sorry about what I did. But um, I don't feel you're in a committed relationship. I don't feel you're um, in anything substantial and committed. Um, I heard baby daddy. But I think the way he gets around you um, and the way he's going to steal this money out of your purse and get so close to you in your purse is by saying that he is protects you. He's around to protect you. He's your protector. He's um, there to help you. But in reality, he's a big ass thief, a con man. Um, huge ass con man. About to expose him. One, you're going to call the police. Ooh. I heard huge ass con man about to expose him, about to call the police. So, for one, when you, uh, it hasn't happened yet, it's upcoming. When you see him um, steal the money out of your purse, or somebody else sees him steal the money out of your purse, either you or somebody else is about to call the police um, after you have him arrested for theft. And I don't blame you. I would too. But I think he comes around as a protector energy. Like he wants to protect you, to save you. Like, um, like mind manipulation, like mind control. He's trying to come off like he's there to help you, but in reality, he's not. He's really stealing large amounts of money out of your damn purse. Yeah, right. Just saying. Legs stepping into a new experience. One, one has just started school. One is about to go to driving school. So one of you guys had just started school. One, you're about to go to driving school. So school can be anything, um, any kind of higher learning. Um, and one, driving school. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one is school and one is driving school. So you plug it in how it resonates. Scorpio. I know Scorpio. Oh, maybe one you are dealing with Scorpio. Um, ooh, I'm sorry. I meant um Aries. I meant Aries. I think one you're dealing with Scorpio. Might be the thiever out of your purse, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So stepping into a new experience. Um I think that's the school, whatever it is, and how that applies, okay? A Taurus mother is about to do something you never thought she would do. One, a fun adventure. One, kick somebody out. A Taurus uh, mother is about to do something you never thought she would do. One, a fun adventure. And one, kick somebody out. So heavy Taurus mother energy. She could have Taurus in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand with Jupiter charts. Um, one of you guys, she's going to do something fun. So, I mean, whatever is fun for her. I mean, however that applies. And for one, she's going to kick somebody out. So stepping into a new experience is your mother, torn mother, either going to kick somebody out or um, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, or do something fun, whatever it is, okay? And how that applies. Dolphin financial gain, usually coming for something you did in the past. For one, a sex video of the past is about to bring you a good amount of money. For one, a sex video you did in the past is about to bring you a good amount of money. Well, okay. Um, I've never free willingly consented or done sex videos to my knowledge. Um, I have suspect there might be a sex video out there of me. Um, but if there is, I never consented to it. But whoever you are, you consented to the sex video. And I heard it's about to, uh, it's something you did in the past and you're about to, it's about to bring you a large amount or a fair amount of money. How that resonates. So, um, financial gain, usually something you did in the past is the sex video energy of the past. 
Um, but I feel you have like on Pornhub or XX videos or something like that. Whoever you are and how that applies. For some, you could have done the sex video with air sign or water sign. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? February. Someone that did not um, listen to somebody in February of 2022. They are listening now. Know this. For one, it's an Aries. For one, it's a Leo. Did not listen to the Aries or the Leo. Now they're listening. And it's going to really benefit. Because these people are telling the truth. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So heavy um, Aries and Leo energy. For one of you guys... Um, they didn't listen to you. For one, they didn't listen to a Leo. For one, it might be both. Um, you might know this Leo or you might not. But something you were saying in like February 2022, Aries, if this resonates for you. If something you were saying in February 2022, I feel official reporting energy for some. For some, it could have been anything else. But something you were stepping up and speaking out on in February 2022, but somebody just cast it to the wayside, called you crazy, or just basically didn't listen to you. Uh, for some you, for some a Leo, for some both. But I heard they're listening now, and it's about to hugely benefit them because you're telling the truth. So you're not crazy. You're not delusional. You're not in your head. Um, you're not seeing things or imagining things. I mean, whatever the hell this is, it's um, feels substantial. It's really, really, really big. It's really, really, really big. That's what I heard. It's really, really, really big. So, I think for some, they call you crazy, delusional, you're up in your head, blah, 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 blah. For some, you, for some, a Leo, for some, both. Um, but now, they're listening. And I heard it's going to benefit them because you or you and this Leo are telling the truth. So, fe February of 2022. And for one... A gay lover moved out in February 2022. It's been hard financially on you, but it's going to end up being the best thing that ever happened to you. Know this. It's been really rough on you since this person has left. Oh, my God. And for one of you, a gay lover moved out in February 2022. I heard it um, so homosexual relationship, whether it's two fems or two masculines. However, that resonates, Aries. You know the story now, anybody else. But I heard it's been really rough on you. Um... You, it sounds like you didn't want the gay lover to move out. Um, for some, it could be a water sign or an air sign gay lover. But how that resonates, you didn't want to move out, but they did. Uh, I think they got kicked out or you got in an argument or something or they weren't paying their shit or what have you. But I heard it's going to end up being the best thing for you down the line. I heard it's been really rough financially. But um, you are making it. So it's going to be like hindsight 2020 energy, basically. You are going to, it sounds like in the end, you are going, it's going to be the best thing ever happened to you. Um, I just don't think you see it right now. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Aries. A Pisces feminine is about to get called for identity theft. Know this. A Pisces feminine is about to get called for identity theft. Know this. So some kind of Pisces Femme energy. They could have Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme in Hammond and Jupiter charts. Part of Pisces Femme is about to get caught for identity theft soon. Know this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Aries. And one Aries is packing on the pounds and one Aries is losing. Losing weight. And one of you guys is losing weight. And one of you guys is packing on pounds. One, you're losing weight by severe meth use. You will be caught soon. Know this. Oh. So one of you guys, you're losing weight the healthy way. One, you're gaining weight. If you want to gain weight, I'm not sure. And one, you're losing weight by severe meth loss. Uh, I'm not meth loss. Meth use. I heard you will be caught. So you plug it in, how it resonates, I don't know if you're snorting or banging it up, whatever they call the bangers or what have you, or what have you, what have you. You know how you're doing, ingesting this meth, not anybody else. All right, love you guys. Namaste.